Hello, good morning students. Let us continue with our present and past perfect tense which we had done last week. Once more, let us revise what are present perfect tense and past perfect tense. Present perfect tense children are those verbs which the action actually started in the past continued at present and completed just now. Just now it has been completed. Here for singular subject we use has and then the past participle form of the verb. And in cases of plural subject when we are talking about many then we use have and the past participle form of the verb. For past perfect tense, it means that the action completed before another action which was also completed in the past. That means there were two actions which have been completed in the past. Out of these two, naturally one will be ahead of the other. The one which was completed ahead means first we have to use had then the past participle form of the verb and the next action it is in simple past tense. So children this is all about present and past perfect tense form of the verb. Now here in your workbook children theme 5 or sheet number 3 theme 5 or sheet number 3 there is an exercise in page number 68 of your workbook question number C2 fill in the blanks in the sentences with past perfect tense using the given verbs so here we have to use only past perfect tense you remember in past perfect tense we use had whether we are talking about one or many we use the helping verb had and then the past participle form of past participle V3 form of the verb. Okay. So let us do it. The verbs are mentioned in the bracket. You have to use the past participle form of the verb. He dash write a letter before he call them. See, there are two actions. One, write a letter and one call them. So which one was before? First he wrote the letter and then he called them before because it is he dash a letter before he called them. So call them is afterwards. Before that he has written a letter. So it is in past. So we have to use the past perfect form. So we write have. For past perfect tense we have to use have. And then the past participle form of write. Write, wrote, written. Write is the base form, then wrote is the past form, and written is the past participle. So you have written. Write, he had written. W R I T T E N. Okay? W R I T T E N. Written a letter before he called. And this is in simple past. So there are two past tense. One, the simple past and the action which have been done before that is written in past. Coming to the second one, children, they dash new shirts before the school reopen. So again, you see two actions: one school reopen, one buy new shirts. Now, which happened first? First, buy the new shirts and then the school reopen. Of course, in your case also it happens that you purchase new shirts, new uniform, and then the school reopen. Before the school reopens, you buy. So they bought new shirts before the school reopened. Actually, school reopened afterwards. Okay. So, this is in simple past because this is the second action. Both the action completed in the past but this was done ahead of them. So, we have to use the past perfect tense. In past perfect tense, simple you have to use first had and then the past participle form of the verb buy. Buy, bought, bought. Say, buy, bought, and in past participle also bought. B O U G, bought. 
So they had bought new shirts before the school reopened. Third one, B dash not seen for a week. Now here you see negative, not seen. No problem. Even if it is negative also, we can write. But here there is only one action mentioned because maybe something happened and then they did not sleep for a time. So B dash not sleep for. But it's mentioned that we have to use the past for it. So we have to use past for it. So we use had. And then the verb mentioned is sleep. Not we will write. Okay. But sleep is the base form of the verb. Sleep, slept, slept. So we are also same like board. So sleep, past tense is slept and past participle also slept. So we have not, here we write not after that, after the helping verb and then we write slept. Thank you. 